back. We are working on week six. Today we're doing readability. So the specifications, basically we need to use get string again. We need to use the same math. 0 0.0588 times L minus 0 0.296 times S minus 15.8. L is the average number of letters per 100 words. S is the average number per 100 sentences of text. So this is going to look similar to our original readability that we had in C. So taking a quick look at our C file, remember the math that they're looking for is going to be similar to what we had here. The L is float letters, float words times 100, index round, and then this calculation here. Finally, the other thing that they wanted us to use was the get string, so we're going to be working on that today. If these videos are helpful, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into this. For good practice, the first thing we're going to do is import those notes that we needed. So now that we've got those notes, the one thing we want to get started on here is from CS50, we want to import get string. That way we can use our string value. And the next thing we need to do is get the text from the user. So we need the input read text equals get string and then quote text colon space end quote close that out that's all we need for that then we need to count the number of letters in the text so we're gonna initiate number of letters to zero and we're gonna look for characters in text I'm just gonna use C so for characters in text we need to do if C is alpha just like we did so if it's a letter right so just like we did in C so if C is alpha colon then number of letters is going to plus equal one so every time it finds a number of a letter it will increase the count by one then we need to count the number of words in the text so number of words now num words is going to be equal to the length so we already used len last time we're going to use it again this time so text dot split and that's all we need for right there and if you don't know already split is a built-in function in Python that will return a list of all the words in a text string that are separated by an element like any white space right so a space a tab or a new line so it will return just the count minus all of the white space alright so that's why we have that there count the number of sentences in text now just like we did in C we're gonna do sentences so we can only count the things in a text that might be the end of a sentence. So we're going to do text dot count, and that means we're going to look for sentence markers, such as period. And we're also going to add text dot count, and we're going to look for exclamation point. And we're also going to add text dot count and we're gonna look for question mark all we can do to count sentences is count whatever might be at the end of a sentence and then therefore what's before it must be a sentence all right calculate the average number of letters per 100 words so we're gonna do we call them L and S right so L equals number of letters which we already declared so a number of letters divided by the number of words just like we did in C and then times 100 so that calculation was already given to us we're just implementing it here the same thing for sentences so s is going to be equal number of sentences and it's going to be divided by number of words and that's going to be times 100 and then we need to calculate the grade level using the formula that they gave us the uh, coleman lao formula i'm sorry if i got that wrong so grade level is going to be equal to and it was 0 0.0588 times length minus 0 0.296 times s and minus 15.8 the next thing that we're going to do right now is we're going to print the grade level so we need our print statements so let's get down here print grade level is going to be if uh, we'll just call it grade level, grade level, and let's fix grade level up here now that I see it. Grade level, there we go, uh, is greater than one, colon, then we need to print, quote, it was very specific, so before grade one, end quote, and then we need an L if for grade level less than or equal to or was greater than or equal to 16 sorry uh, is colon is gonna be print 
and again it was specific so we'll do it was grade 16 plus and finally we need our else and put our colon in there uh, print and it's a print f right from a string so remember the f goes inside so grade and we're going to use our round function just like we didn't see except we only need to use it in one location here right grade level quote end and then we should be good so let's run a quick test and I'm gonna move this terminal up so you guys can see it let's go ahead and just grab this one as grade 8 Grade 8, perfect. All right, that works. Let's just run our check on it here. Style on it should be good because if the style on it is not good, it will break Python. Let's take a look. There you have it. Handles everything we need. This is week 6. That was readability. I am Devin, and as always, you are awesome. We're moving on to DNA next. See you soon.